So I found this YouTube channel called Adventure, and it is so bad I just had to cover it. And you might notice I have some Among Us gameplay in the back. That's actually a new thing I'm trying, so in these exposed videos, I'm just gonna start putting gameplay so the video doesn't look plain. Anyways, back to the main point of the video. So I found this channel called Adventure, and it is like horrible. It's probably the worst YouTube channel I've seen so far. Now, while I was examining his channel, like checking a couple of videos out, I just found some dumb thumbnails. Like, there's these thumbnails on his videos that are like a thing so that this YouTuber was hiding from you or something. I don't remember what it was called. And it just has this random Roblox logo, like spammed everywhere. Like, what is this even supposed to mean? Also, there are comments of people noticing these same things, like his clickbait. There's even people like talking about how can we even trust you because he says that at the start of his videos. Now, if you are new and you haven't seen my channel, basically how these videos go is that we just look at some of the videos the YouTuber made, probably look at some history about them. Mostly we don't. I haven't done that a single time, so I don't know why I mentioned that in the first place. But yeah, pretty much all we do is just look at their videos, see how they're dumb. So the first one we're gonna look at is one of these they forgot to turn off their camera ones, and I'm pretty sure It's Owen did like this same type of video with the same girl in the thumbnail. Like where are they getting this picture from? Anyways, let's just look at the video. Like the video and subscribe in the next 5 seconds for 24 hours of good luck. Hey guys, Adventure here, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at 5 YouTubers who forgot the camera was on. Make sure you watch the video until the end to see Jelly and even Pokimane forgetting the camera was on and then doing something which you won't believe. It is so cringy how he just said, make sure to watch till the end to see Jelly and Pokimane. Like, that is so weird to me. Trust me, it's insane, so make sure you don't miss out on that. Trust me, it's insane, so don't miss out on that. Watch the video until the end for 48 hours of good luck. Dude, are you serious? Do you realize the amount of sense that this doesn't make? What a female streamer named Alinity. I don't know why you had to specify that they were female, but okay. So one day, Alinity was streaming on Twitch and playing some games. She started to see a lot of comments from her fans saying that her back was sweating. Alinity thought that her fans were trolling her, so she just ignored it at first. But then after seeing so many people telling her that her back was sweating, she decided to check. The thing is though, Alinity forgot that her camera was on and only thought that her fans could see the game and not her camera. So when she checks her back, she ends up doing something super embarrassing in front of thousands of people that were watching. I'm not even gonna show this. I'm not even gonna bother reviewing the rest of the video because it was just plain stupid. Now the thumbnail of this one is just plain horrible, like you can clearly tell that it's photoshopped. They photoshopped the hand, the background, the Lamborghini, they photoshopped everything into here. And I'm just gonna see how bad this video is because that thumbnail was not a good first impression. And you will see what the video is right after this ad. Anyways, let's just jump into it. Like the video and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or this spider will be in your bed tonight crawling around when you go to sleep. Hey guys, Adventure here and in this video we'll be taking a look at insane supercar fails. Make sure you watch your video until the end see clips of Lamborghinis are getting destroyed and even a lady who ends up spilling coffee on an expensive car. Now here's the thing, Adventure. I actually watched this video until the end and by as in I watched, I mean I just scrolled to the end to see the so-called coffee being spilled on a Lamborghini. And that is not what I saw. I saw something completely different from the thumbnail. So uh, yeah, clickbait. We are at the last video. Finally, this is over. So the last video is just a kid crying in the thumbnail and it's kids getting owned by their parents. So, uh, I don't really know what to expect from this. Like the video and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or this spider will be in your bed tonight crawling around when you go to sleep. Hey guys, Adventure here and in this video we'll be taking a look at 5 times spoiled kids got owned by parents. Make sure you watch the video until the end to see what some of these parents end up doing to their spoiled kids. Trust me, one of these clips will literally blow your mind so make sure you don't miss out on that. We're playing Fortnite, developing our hand-eye coordination and... I mean, you're acting crazy! 
hand-eye coordination? Bro, what are you even talking about? You get hand-eye coordination from any game. What's so special about Fortnite? Oh, then I'm crazy mom, but guess what? Yeah, we're getting exercise because of you. Oh, do you want to get some more exercise? We're doing it right now. What do you think we're doing? Atlanta, don't do it! Do not do it! Why? Guess because what? we need that, we can expensive! Oh my god, like I need this too, right? You'll break it! I'm pretty sure this kid isn't spoiled and he just has a horrible parent. Like, who in the right mind would do this to their kid? Like, wouldn't you just take away the console from your kid instead of just fully breaking their console? Oh my god, this feels so good! Oh, that was really good. Are you f***ing serious? So as soon as the mom throws her kid's PS4 into the pool, they all start to freak out. The dad actually then ends up jumping into the pool to try and save the PS4 and then right after this, the two kids jump in as well. The thing is though, it was too late now and the PS4 was now completely broken. The Obviously, why would they jump in after it? The chances of the PS4 working again are very low. The mom finally got revenge on her spoiled kids, which was so awesome for her. I bet these kids also really regret not paying attention to their mom because if they weren't so addicted to Fortnite, their PS4 wouldn't be thrown in the pool. Le oh, so they weren't paying attention to the mom. But like still, you just threw like a $400 PS4 in a pool. Like who cares that you got revenge? You just wasted like $400. I'm gonna end this video right here because I've been editing for a while. I've been talking for a while. And it's morning right now and I really need to eat breakfast. I'm super hungry. So uh, I'm just gonna end this here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Possibly. Maybe.